let's uh, elaborate all this concept with our favorite example of the pendulum system and uh, the pendulum equation is described by these state equations so uh, here uh, what is g of x uh, if you compare it with the standard expression this is g of x and this is h of x uh, and uh, do not confuse uh, this g with uh, that particular g uh, this g is the uh, gravitational constant and uh, furthermore we assume that these parameters are uncertain not exactly known but we know uh, some bound on these parameters that is this m mass of the pendulum can vary between this uh, lower limit and with upper limit likewise the length of the pendulum can vary uh, from 0.9 meters to 1.1 meters k which is uh, uh, i think uh, it corresponds to uh, damping coefficient that is uh, also uh, uncertain and it can change its value so we have uh, this uncertain mathematical model and we want to design sliding mode control for uh, this uh, nonlinear system we have a few more assumptions uh, these are uh, somehow intuitive assumptions that is x1 absolute value of x1 is less than or equal to pi uh, the second state which is velocity of the uh, pendulum angular velocity that is also bounded so the procedure to design the sliding mode controller that is uh, written over here uh, from the previous slide uh, what is first step we define some sliding surface so we take uh, this uh, sliding surface uh, and uh, then uh, the system dynamics will be governed by these things and we finally we shall use this control law and we want to det determine this control law uh, in this control law uh, this beta of x is given over here uh, is uh, rho of x plus beta naught and rho of x is given over here so the, uh, the thing that we need to determine is an upper bound on this expression absolute value of this thing so that is written over here a x2 plus h of x over g of x absolute value a x2 uh, for simplicity we have taken a to be equal to 1 some positive constant which is equal to 1 that is written over here and uh, h of x what was h of x h of x is uh, all this thing minus uh, g over l sine of x1 minus k over m x2 and uh, uh, this what is this thing this is this g of x which is written over here and uh, we can further uh, rearrange this expression to write it uh, over here we have simply multiplied both the numerator and the denominator with m l square so we have m l square x2 m g l uh, sine of x1 and k uh, l square and uh, this 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 term is over here and we want to find an upper bound on this expression uh, uh, what we have done is uh, we have simply written this term and this term together over here and uh, then uh, this term is over here so this thing is always less than or equal to this uh, expression we have utilized triangular inequality triangular inequality absolute value of a minus b is always less than or equal to absolute value of a plus absolute value of b so even if here is negative sign here must be positive sign and uh, then we have this expression and uh, to get on an upper bound uh, of this expression what value of l we should substitute over here the upper bound on the l should be substituted which is uh, here and what value of m we should substitute upper upper or and what about k for k we should substitute the lower bound we have substituted the upper bound on m which is 0.2 and lower bound on k is 0 which is uh, there and x2 uh, is less than 2 pi which comes from this inequality you can verify that this uh, inequality 
means x2 is less than 2 pi and likewise uh, we should substitute upper value of m g and l over here and where is the upper bound on sine of x1 1 that is uh, substituted so if you multiply all these things uh, that is equal to nearly equal to 3.68 that is upper bound this upper bound row of x that is equal to 3.68 and uh, uh, therefore the control law that is given over here beta of x is greater than or equal to rho of x plus beta naught beta naught kya cheez hai what is beta naught any positive constant so you can take any positive constant so beta of x is equal to this thing therefore we have this control law and this control law will bring any initial uh, condition to the sliding surface and uh, it will uh, then maintain uh, the trajectories on the sliding surface and on the sliding surface the tra trajectories will uh, asymptotically converge to the equilibrium point where s uh, s you know is equal to uh, a x1 plus x2 a is taken to be equal to 1 so this is the control law you can easily implement this control law and uh, verify that uh, uh, this uh, works so here uh, some discussion on beta naught uh, beta naught we have it has to be some positive constant but uh, it can be some smaller constant it can be larger constant so if we take beta naught to be larger so you will see that reaching time will be smaller from where we conclude this thing here uh, if it is visible the reaching time the time required for the trajectories to reach to the sliding surface here beta naught uh, is indeed in the denominator so larger beta naught means uh, smaller reaching time and uh, what is effect of uh, this a larger a means faster convergence so these are two uh, aspects however taking larger uh, beta taking larger beta and a larger control action that means more chattering if you take larger value of beta naught larger value of a then control action will be larger this value will come out to be larger actually uh, if you take uh, larger uh, beta naught so obviously this beta will be larger likewise if you take larger a this row of x will be larger and uh, this beta will be larger so larger beta uh, means larger chattering here chattering is due to this discontinued news control law and larger is value of this constant larger will be the amplitude of chattering.